In today's video, we're going to look at the ingredients of a good animation. So stay tuned. Hey guys, my name is Eon and welcome to my Start Animating YouTube channel. The channel that is specifically aimed at everyone that is new to animation. And if that is you, welcome, you are at the right place. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and also click on that little notification bell so that you can get notified every week when I upload a brand new video. And if you are new to animation or you're starting out and you don't know where to begin, well, I do have my free community on my website uh, in the description box below. There's a link just click there subscribe and um, it is free i do have paid options but they're not available um, or open at the moment um, only later on but you can start out for free you can sign up and um, start joining the community uh, of like-minded uh, animators who's also starting out is at the same stage as you are and it's a, just a great place to be and to learn from each other so in the description box below there's a link just go and sign up as i've mentioned it is absolutely free now today we're going to talk about uh, some ingredients that you're going to need to create a good animation uh, it's I mean, if you followed my channel uh, from the beginning or um, doesn't matter how long, it is actually very easy to create your own animation. But obviously, you want to create good animations. You want to create something that people will love and enjoy and share and recommend and will ask you for more. And that is what you want. So what do you need? Um, well, first of all, you're going to need some software. <laughs> so I compiled a list of software that is absolutely free. It's not pirated copies. It's actually freeware. So it, it is made available to the public for free. Um, so I compiled this list to get you started so this list com um, consists of software like 2d animation 3d animation script writing storyboarding video editing um, audio recording and mixing a whole list of software that is available for free um, so this will really get you started to create your own animation so again in the description box below there's a link just click there and i will email that list to you so you'll have all the software that you're going to need to create awesome animations but now let's get a bit more serious um, what are the things that you're going to need to create good animations what are the ingredients that you need to focus on that you need to incorporate into your animations to ensure that you really have a good product um, something that you can showcase to the world and can be proud of and will ha um, have a good uh, reaction people will actually love it so you know that you didn't put on all your hard work and loads and loads of hours into your animation and at the end nobody cares because it's not good um, so there's six things that i want to share with you that i believe is crucial um, that you need to work on and incorporate in your animations and um, i am planning on online courses on some of the topics i'm going to mention today so let me know in the comments below which one you want me um, to cover in an online course um, so i do have two in mind that i do want to um, do in the future but according to your um, response or your comments um, in the comment sections below um, it will really help me to see which one i should do first which one is more in demand um, which one is uh, you guys need help on that topic a bit more so i'll talk about that a bit later on but let's start off uh, what what is the first one well the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need a good story if you don't have a good story then it doesn't matter how good the animation quality is um, it won't help and i've actually done a review on masters of the universe uh, revelation that is on netflix uh, i'll put the link up here if you want to go check it out and one thing that i've mentioned in that um, in that review is the animation and the artwork is absolutely amazing but the story just fell flat and the reason why um this animation series was so critiqued um, and got such bad reviews was because what they did with the story 
Um, they actually upset the whole Masters of the Universe He-Man fan base. Um, so story is really, really important. And this is actually something I've actually laid out the whole... Um, um, the the layout of an online course on creating stories for your animation. So I've actually started working on this one. So if you want me to release that um, course, uh, let me know in the comments below. So it is a course that will really help you to create good stories. Um, and that is very important. A company like Pixar really emphasizes storytelling above all anything else story for them is key if you don't have a good story um, you don't have a product um, so the first thing that you're gonna need is a good story so if you want me to uh, release that um, course on how to create awesome stories captivating stories uh, let me know in the comments and I will uh, the, the layout of that course is basically done I just need to film and edit it um, but let me know in the comments below if that is something that you will be interested in um, then the second thing and I have to say when you first start out in animation um, this is a trap that you will easily fall into um, is originality you need something original I, I remember when I was um, young I was 13 old 13 years old I drew my own comic books and at the end of the day my comic character was based off Donald Duck he looked like Donald Duck with a cap on um, but again I was 13 years old what did I know I just looked at things that inspired me and I just kind of copied that and it is one thing to be inspired by an animation series or by a character or by a storyline um, so there's nothing wrong in being inspired but what can you do to take that inspiration and turn it into something original something that is uniquely you um, something that even if someone watches your animation um they won't even recognize that you were inspired by another um, animation series or a comic book. Um, so uh, it is okay to be inspired, but always try to be original um, with everything. Um, your artwork, your story, um, make what you do uniquely you. Some of the most iconic um stories are all unique um, something that stands out something that hasn't been done before um, for instance Walt Disney is basically based on being original they were the first company who created a full feature animated film something that has never been done before that is why Walt Disney is so popular they created um, you know they are like the kings of animation <laughs> um, because they were in the forefront. They um, invented um, equipment to create great scenes, etc. Um, so be original. Be in the forefront of creativity. Um, be just creative. Be original. Um, you're not going to have good animations if you do things that has been done before or storylines that are so cliche that everyone can see what's coming up next in your story. So try and be original. So that's the second thing. The third thing is artwork. But artwork for me isn't as crucial. It is not as important because... You can have a good animation with bad artwork. Um, I've seen a lot of animations where the artwork for me isn't that great, but it's still successful because the story was so awesome. Again, if I go back to that uh, Masters of the Universe revelation um, concept or um, review that I've done, it is they have great artwork, but the story was terrible and at the end of the day, nobody cared about the the, um, the artwork. <laughs> the artwork didn't save the story. So what I would like, when it comes to artwork, what I would like to suggest is to be, to create your own style. Uh, when people look at, for instance, The Simpsons, um, 
they know the Simpsons have its own style. Rick and Morty has its own style. Um, Adventure Time has its own style. So if you create your own animation, um, make sure that you have a unique style that people can identify with. When they see something, they immediately know this is from your animation series. For instance, The Simpsons. You can see a character... You can draw or see, just look at a character and you know it's from the Simpsons series just by the style. You don't even know who the character is. You probably have never seen that character before. That character never even featured in a Simpsons episode. But just the look of that um, character, you can see this is Simpsons style. Um, so when it comes to artwork, I'm not really concerned about the quality and how good it looks. I mean... For instance, Adventure Time, for me, you can't compare that to The Lion King, okay? <laughs> I mean, The Lion King or some of the um, Disney um, classic animated films, um, those artwork were absolutely amazing. So, Adventure Time, The Simpsons, the artwork doesn't even come close, but these shows are very successful because they also have a very unique style. So that's the third thing that I would recommend that your animation series should have. And that is a unique artistic style. Then another thing that is very important um, to have a successful animation series is planning. You need to plan everything out um, beforehand. Um, even before you write your script, you need to plan out your story. You can't just start writing your script because you're gonna f f fall in some pitfalls and it's not gonna work um, so plan out your story but also plan out um, the whole animation pipeline process make sure you do a storyboard storyboard is crucial to iron out any hiccups inside your animation to make sure your animation flow the story flows um, create your animatic do all of those things. Don't skip any steps in your animation pipeline because then your story won't work. So make sure you do your storyboard. Make sure you do an animatic. Uh, make sure you do your story planning beforehand. Um, so planning is very crucial to have a very good animation series. Then number five, good audio. <laughs> um, I don't know if you know, but research have shown that people are willing to watch videos with um, poor image quality or bad lighting but if a video doesn't have good audio then they will stop watching this is actually research that has been done so audio in your videos is extremely important to have good audio so make sure that this is one area that i always recommend to spend some time on um, maybe or spend some money on get a decent um a uh, voiceover artist that can do a good job, that can really bring life into your characters. Um, there's nothing ba as bad when you have great animation, great characters, great story, but the voices just fall flat. There's no emotion in it. There's no um, life into your characters' um, voices. So maybe spend some money on good voiceover artists, um, I do have an online course to help you with this, to do it from home with free software um, that's in that list that I've mentioned in the beginning. So I do have an online course. So in the description box below, there's a course that will really help you with this to do it from home. So you don't have to spend a lot of money um, to go to a professional recording studio to get good quality. You can actually do it from home. So I do have a course that will teach you and show you how to do it. But this is one area that you shouldn't compromise on. Good audio quality. And that is very, very important. And then finally, um, the 12 principles of animation. I mean, this is crucial. They are the principles of animation. So if you want to have a good animation, you need to have these principles in place. Um, so you can't have a good animation and you skip the 12 principles of animation entirely. And this is another course that I've been planning on doing is to teach the 12 principles of animation. Um, so let me know again in the description. Um, 
in the comment section below is this a course you would like me to create as well in the future so it is actually the two courses that i've planned out this one 12 principles of animation and um, storytelling for your animation so those two i've already been planning so let me know which one you want me to do first or release first um, in the comments below. So guys, those are the six things that I believe are the key ingredients to create good quality or a good animation. So first of all, it is a good story, originality, the artwork to have a unique style when it comes to artwork, um, planning, make sure you plan out everything beforehand before you start good audio quality and then finally the 12 principles of animation so guys that is it uh, let me know if there are any other things that you feel is important when it comes to have a good quality animation let me know in the comments section below and if you've enjoyed this video remember to hit that like button it really helps the algorithms and uh, feel free to like or subscribe to this youtube channel and click on that notification bell so that you can get notified every week when i upload a new video so guys for me that's it i will see you guys next week with another video god bless and happy animating